Hello, Papa. Ah. Ah. Hey, everybody. Um, let me just preface, preface, preface. Let me just begin this by saying that I'm not, I'm not going to become one of those people who just talks about baby stuff all the time. I'm really not. If you're afraid of that happening, it's it's not going to happen. <laughs> but I really wanted to make this video because I've got a lot of people I need to say thank you to. Like, holy shit. Also, if you hear any, like, snuffling in the background or any little baby noises, it's because baby Severine is in the room with me at the moment. Being all cute and looking at me. <laughs> Over the years, people have always asked me, if you ever have children, will you dress them in the stuff that you like? And I've always been like, well, of course I will because doesn't everybody do that? Like, doesn't everybody dress their children in the things that they like or think look nice until the child is old enough to decide for themselves what they like. And let me tell you, it is really hard for some reason to find black baby clothes because apparently there's just not much demand for them. It's been a real challenge, especially being here in New Zealand. It's really hard to do online shopping here. I found so many beautiful little gothic things on Etsy for babies that people had made, but like the shipping cost just made it super not worth it. But after a good deal of effort and a lot of generous generosity from some of you out there. Oh my god! I have some really, really... Baby, no! Don't get sad now! Oh, papa. People kept asking me if I had a registry, which isn't really a thing we do here in New Zealand. There's a lot of American traditions that people were asking me if I was doing, like, having a baby shower or a registry or a gender reveal and that kind of thing. And Typically people don't do those sorts of things here, but I know how exciting it can be when there's a baby coming and you want to like give it things. I know how like exciting it is whenever I know someone who's having a baby, I'm like, oh I want to give it things. So I put away a few things on my Amazon wish list and I didn't know that on Amazon like you can send things that aren't on someone's wish list. So like there were some complete surprises. Oh, when things come from Amazon, there's sometimes we thank you note with it, and I've tried to keep each item with its corresponding note, but some of them have gotten muddled up, and I feel like a complete asshole because of that, because I'm not quite sure which thing to attribute to whom, so I'm super, super sorry about that. I've just been a little bit disorganized lately, more than usual. But I was fortunately able to say thank you to a few people on the last live stream that I did, who just like happened to be there, and I won't say what came from whom, just in case I get it wrong. Super super apologize if I've missed anybody out. I hope I haven't. If so, please comment below and tell me. But I want to say an enormous thank you to Christina, Christina Procaccino, Sandra, Sandra Straub, In the Dark Six, is it Nikki? Nikki Stewart, Luna Fairy, Kate, Kate Yeager, Paola, and Diane, and anyone I may have missed. I thank you on behalf of my tiny infant daughter. So honored, so grateful to receive your beautiful, super cool, and really thoughtful gifts. Wow. Some things I made myself, but yeah, like what does one dress a proper little baby pattern. The first thing here is actually from H&M. I found this at H&M. There's only like a couple of H&Ms in the whole country, but look at this. Isn't that great? Oh, look at it. <laughs> this won't fit her quite yet. She's really, really small. Severine is like in the first percentile, if you know what that means. I couldn't believe I found this at a local shop. Amazing. I also at the H&M found this little red dress. Red is my favourite colour. I'd got this dress long ago for her to wear on Christmas Day, which she did and she fit it just perfectly. Things that I've managed to find locally have been few and far between. One of the only black things I can reliably find is leggings. These ones, for example, small they are. These ones are extra cute because they've got a little frilly bit on the butt. Look at that, isn't that just so cute? Look at the little frilly butt. And here's a little pair of plain black leggings. I also found this locally, this little Pugsley style top, cotton on, cotton on baby. This pair of leggings was a gift from Mr. Owl's sister, so Severine's aunt. Leggings are all very well and good, but you know, babies most of the time are wearing onesies. If I'd bought the little black and like printed onesies and things from Etsy and that that I'd wanted to, they would have cost me something like $50 each. I'm not kidding, it's, 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 I can't justify spending $50 on something that's gonna fit her for a few weeks, you know? These things are available if you happen to live in more convenient parts of the world, like the USA or the UK or Europe, whatever. Lots of wonderful little things on Etsy. There's also a brand called Batella Monsters who makes like heaps of things that look really cute and really good. There's a website called My Baby Rocks. There's so many things that would have been really great to get, but I just could not justify the shipping price. But I did actually get some stuff from Amazon.com, which took forever to get here, and the shipping was really expensive. It was the only way I was able to like get onesies. I thought about like dyeing stuff, but that just sounds so messy and awful. So I found on Amazon just some plain little black onesies. 
or these are like some short sleeved ones and I mean I have had the idea of, of printing things onto these I thought about doing you know like iron on transfers that sort of thing to make them look like band t-shirts or something and a pack of long sleeved plain black ones and Paula I think it was also sent me some more of these onesies in a bigger size so she'll be wearing these ones for quite a while also from Amazon and this was super hard to find in black these sleeping gowns you know like just like a long gown with an elastic bottom so easy nappy access especially at night with little mittens on the end that fold over <laughs> these are super super useful they're great so hard to find a sleeping gown or onesies or anything just in plain black matches everything don't people know that and another of these came from my amazon wishlist thank you so much oh my god they are so useful and they look so cute i'll finish up with the stuff that i found on amazon personally and then i'll show you all the other things that came off my amazon wishlist oh, and the stuff that i made as well how cute is this little cardigan if you have or are expecting a baby bat in your life i'll put a link to my website with a blog post that will link to all of these things if you want to look at at them for them yourself tiny little black cardigan with a little sparkly button on the front she looks so pretty in this with this nice like lacy trim i got all these it was it was so hard to find black bonnets you know it's hard to find bonnets for some reason people don't put bonnets on their babies much anymore i don't know why because they look so sweet it's reversible actually it's exactly the same on both sides this came in a two pack black and white and it's very good it's very good quality like i've, I've used it a lot and washed it a lot sorry for the, the gooey gushy mushy voice but <laughs> this bonnet i got from ebay it's so beautiful it's a lot nicer than I expected, you know, so sometimes you buy stuff from China or Hong Kong for not much money and you expect they won't be very good. This is actually pretty good. It's really pretty. She doesn't fit it yet, but look at the little... Absolutely just so beautiful. I love this wee black bonnet. The first gift that came from my Amazon wishlist was this beautiful, beautiful dress. It also has a bonnet with it, which she has been wearing a lot and I therefore currently don't know where I've put it. <laughs> Everything is complete chaos, but if you want to see the bonnet, she's actually wearing it in the only picture I've put of her on Instagram. She's wearing the little red velvet dress because it's a Christmas dress with the black bonnet. Look at this. It's actually, I think it's advertised as being for funerals. Isn't that absolutely so beautiful? It's like pretty too so oh I'm like so grateful I've put her in this quite a few times to go and visit family members or go see friends and stuff and she just looks so beautiful in it I've had to wash it a couple of times and it survived and it's been thrown up on and it survived it has all these beautiful lacy flowers and things on it and I just absolutely love this dress this plus the bonnet really makes it look like a wee doll this also came off my Amazon wish list this little dress it's still a bit too big for her but oh, look at it Okay, maybe you can see it more clearly if I take the hanger off. With little pom-poms, little pom-poms on the sleeves and on the ends and oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait till she fits it. Beautiful lace fabric and over a soft layer, zips up so nice and easy on and off. Sorry, I'm so mushy. <laughs> I've never like been into babies or anything. Like people would hand me their baby and I'm like, Ugh. hormones do things to you. <laughs> so now I'm all like, so thankful for these things they're just so beautiful and when she's old enough <laughs> to talk and look back at pictures of herself looking beautiful i'm sure she will be very grateful too while we're on dresses this was sent by vicious trish on instagram i was able to say thank you on a stream because and i'll just say thank you again because holy shit this dress is epic but if festivals go ahead this year not to all festivals, of course, but to Weggie Tea, for example, people bring their children. Yeah, she should be about the right age to wear this dress. Holy shit. Look at that. It's like, I don't know, for pageants or something like that. Look at all the layers. Look at all the layers. A huge big bow at the front with rhinestones. An even bigger bow at the back. Isn't that incredible? Like... Wow, she's gonna be the tiny little belle of the ball. <laughs> Imagine this with this bonnet. That'd be perfect. She is cute, by the way. I might be a little bit biased, but I'm pretty sure she's the cutest baby I've ever seen. Impossibly cute, it makes my head explode. This was undoubtedly the coolest gift. Like, I was absolutely so 
stoked when this arrived in the post. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll probably know that one of my favorite bands is The Devil in the Universe. I just love their music and I've been to see them a couple of times live. Anyway, so how stoked was I when my favorite band sent me these? <laughs> Holy shit, how fucking adorable. I'm just over the moon. So special. These must have been specially made. Come on. I, I just love that. They're in three different sizes. She can be the world's smallest devil in the universe fan all the way into toddlerhood. Awesome. I really appreciate the effort. Just so cool. It's so cute. Oh my god. Look at that. This arrived while I was in hospital. Mr. L brought me some parcels while I was in hospital and so this was one of them. I think I remember who this one came from but I don't want to say just in case I get it wrong but this is, I mean this is, she's a long way from fitting this but how fucking awesome is it? It's like a demon costume but it's like pajamas or whatever. Red and fleecy and has demon wings on the back and a, a bat on the front and little black horns and a little devil tail. <laughs> absolutely love it. Hopefully she doesn't behave demonically. Thank you so so freaking much. That came from my Amazon wish list again a long time before she will fit this. I mean I don't know if this is really gothic but it is black and red and I like it. It's a, it's a bag like a sleeping bag. When babies are a wee bit older you're not supposed to put anything in the cot with them you just basically put them into like a sleep sack or whatever with nothing else in the cot. I really wanted one of these and I didn't want one in some sort of hideous stupid colour like that's all I seem to be able to find here like boring looking so I thought this one was really cool. I thought that was nice and it's quilted so it looks really really cuddly. Thank you so freaking much for this. It's gonna be so useful. I would wear this to bed <laughs> if it were adult sized. Perla, if you're watching this and I hope you are. Unbelievable, blown away, so many things, holy shit. So many surprises. I don't know if I can say thank you enough times. So many things like that from my list or things that I did not expect at all. Just total surprises. Look at this dress. So it's all, it's a little, it's like a little stretchy on the top and really floofy at the bottom. So hard to like show you stuff. It's like I'm wearing all black and I'm holding up things that are all black. That's gonna look so cute. This really, really fluffy bottom. These weren't on my list. These were a complete surprise. But they are mega cute. They're a wee bit big, but I will put them on her the other day. Is this tiny wee pair of blues? Look, can you see? Tiny wee pair. <laughs> tiny wee pair of like black bloomers. Like these are to go over the top of nappies. They're so sweet and they're going to be so useful. So these are from Kate. Kate Yeager. Yeager. This was a total surprise and so thank you very much for the surprise. It's so, This is really cute. I'd actually, I think I'd seen this like floating around on Amazon. It was like a recommended thing. It's a romper and I guess it sort of ties up at the back there. Can you see that? It's a bit difficult to see but it's got these great big applique roses on it. I can see her wearing this on a hot day like wriggling around. <laughs> More things that were a total surprise are these stockings that's a pair there long stockings they're a wee bit long for her yet but i put a pair on her on christmas day they're really nice i hadn't seen these thank you so so much three pairs in here they're going to be so handy for going under dresses i think i got like two or three pairs of these i found these on ebay i've been putting them over the top of booties which i know is a bit weird but it's the only way it's i haven't been able to find black booties and i never got around to like trying to make any black booties myself i may still do so but basically i've just been putting these black socks over the top of ordinary booties a lot better quality than i expected they would be actually speaking of feet these came from christina it's gonna be a wee while before she fits these but i hadn't seen these these are so they're so cool look at these a little pair of shoes with skull and crossbones on they're the kind of elasticated style which means that they don't really come off oh. <laughs> these socks which look kind of similar they're actually a lot nicer <laughs> these were a gift these were a total surprise just plain little black socks with a frilly lace top well these things are gonna last her into toddlerhood and this from my amazon wish list thank you so so freaking much look at this it's just a plain sleeveless onesie but look at those lovely lace shoulders it's gonna look so beautiful isn't that nice like just plain and comfortable but like a little bit Pretty and elegant. Lucky wee girl. I got a big bag of stuff from Vanessa. I think from Australia. Are you in Australia Vanessa? Am I remembering correctly? And this is the bag. The bag is so cool. I was in hospital when Mr. Al brought me this so I was absolutely over the moon. This I have put her in already. Just perfect. If I, I mean come on look at that. Simple and spooky and just 
so cool. <laughs> I was really looking for things like this and you managed to find them, Vanessa, so thank you heaps. There's also a little pair of shorts with mummies on them, a t-shirt that matches that. I love my mummy. <laughs> this is super awesome. Also a skeleton, but it's like a whole skeleton, so like a whole just like skeleton pajamas. Although I don't know if I would just use this as pajamas. I think I would just take her out whole skeleton garment. I think that's just, it's so cool. With some skeleton hands. I love daddy. <laughs> okay, yeah, but who do you love more? This set was a total surprise and thank you so much to the person who sent it. Kind of like a swaddle. It's like a, a bag for sleeping in with a little matching hat. And if you look closely at the material, you'll see that it's bats, bones and thorns. It's all fuzzy and warm on the inside. Fuzzy and comfortable and makes her happy. This isn't clothes but it was a gift for my wish list and it was jolly expensive and it's, it's very good actually. It's lovely and I've had so much use out of it so I'm afraid if you see like maybe a little puke stain or something. I don't know if I can show you this uh, properly but it's a it's a mat. It's a bat. It's a huge bat. <laughs> um, maybe if I just post a little picture or something you might see what I mean and I've been putting her on it with a wee sheepskin or something and like you know putting one of those little dangly frame things with the toys on she sits there on her like giant bat playing it's really really cute thank you so much Diane I know you sent this thank you so much it's really great we're getting so much use out of it as for swaddles a lot of swaddles were really really expensive and it was virtually impossible to find a black one so I just went to a fabric shop and purchased a couple of meters of stretchy, breathable cotton stuff and made my own ones. Ta da! Really good, really suitable. Things needn't cost a fortune. As soon as I announced that we were going to have a baby, so many people linked me to the Ankle Biters, I think it's called, which has this bat shaped wrap. I was like, honestly, do you think I don't already have one? Come on. She's too small yet to use it, but it's. I'll show you like, here's, here's like the promo, you know, like uh, that's just like, that's not my baby, that's like the model baby wearing the thing. So you can see what it looks like. It's so cool. My mum, uh, it was the first thing she bought as a gift. It's really good quality too, it's nicely made. It's gonna be nice and warm and snuggy, which is probably quite good timing because by the time she's big enough to use this, the weather will be getting cold again. And also from the UK, this lovely, really soft it's like bamboo muslin swaddle blanket. Really versatile, I've used it heaps actually. Completely made of bamboo and it's so soft. Like, that's really fancy, thank you so much. It was pretty hard to find black bibs, but I did manage to find some plain black bibs, but I currently don't know where any of them are. But I did make some myself. These are really more decorative, I suppose, but I'm not good at sewing. <laughs> so I made this white one with black lace. <laughs> what would you call this, like, a special occasion bib? But yeah, I thought they looked quite pretty. This one here, why have a plain bib when you can have one that's got lace all the way around it? Can you see that? Very simple thing, very easy to make, cost hardly anything. The other thing I made, which I posted on Instagram, was this hat. I'm quite proud of my little bat hat. It's gonna be a long time before she fits this little hat, but that's okay because it's gonna be a long time before the weather cools down enough for her to wear it anyway. My friend and Patreon supporter, Spooky Lou, gave me this. Little red knitted hat with a ghost on the front. So cute. And one of my friends gave me this. Come on, look at that. It's a whole bat. It's a whole bat for the baby bat. And it has a matching hat with little ears. I suppose while I'm at it, I might as well tell you, these are the first toys I got her. <coughs> she actually loves this. I think this is actually for pets, but who cares? <coughs> it's got two different squeaks and there was no way I wasn't getting the scary teddy my child. And I also got me Chi. I'd wanted one of these for a long time. And you know, it also works out because babies can really only see black and white when they're first born. I also found this the other day and I thought I would just show it to you because it's cute. It's a like a little beanie thing, but it's a cat spider. It's like a black widow spider cat. So yeah, in conclusion, it's been pretty difficult, especially when one happens to live on an island in the South Pacific, to get anything for babies that's even remotely gothic. But I've done my best, I've looked everywhere, I had to make some things, and because of some kind people who sent us some really wonderful gifts, it can be done. There are things out there. What was your favourite thing, and would you dress a baby in any of the things that I've shown you? I just still think my favourite thing is, is this dress. I just, it's so, it's so sweet, I just love it. And I really wish I knew where the matching bonnet was. <laughs> like, my heart 
house is just a wee bit chaotic at the moment. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay cute, and I'll see you next time. Bye!